It is finally day one of a trip that both of us have been looking forward to for a very long time. Today we're going to Patagonia with Southern Exploration. Today is like just a travel day. We're about to head to the domestic airport here in Buenos Aires and then we fly to Ushuaia, which I'm pretty sure will be the furthest south that either one of us have ever been. We're about to go down to the lobby where we're gonna get picked up and I think meet the rest of our group for the week. That's so excited! picked us up, brought us to the airport, printed our boarding passes, which was really nice for a change. Everyone in our group seems really cool and makes me really excited for this week. And now we're at our gate and we're about to board. Made the flight up to your side, will be there within 10 minutes. We hope you enjoy the flight, thank you. It's been a pleasure having you aboard. Thank you for your time. We hope to see you soon. We made it to the end of the world and it's raining. But Esteban is here to take us where we need to go. I hope you're not too sick of travel days yet because this is not our last one. apartment is massive. I'm really excited to stay here the next three days. It's so massive. She called it an apartment instead of a hotel. The best part about it is the fourth floor has afternoon coffee from 2.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. So surprise, <laughs> surprise, that's where we're going right now. They have a very long afternoon. Apparently the sun doesn't set here till after 10 o'clock. Crazy. Which is nuts. It's really cloudy right now, but I'd love to see a 10 o'clock sunset. That just blows my mind. <laughs> Oh, what a view. This is awesome. Coffee with the view is a great way to start our time at Ushuaia. And cookies don't hurt either. I cannot believe how south we are right now. Like we are literally as close as you can get to Antarctica without getting on a boat and going to Antarctica. It's just blowing my mind. And it's summer, but it's 50 degrees outside. So the whole 
downtown in Ushuaia it seems to be like built around tourism. So there's like this one road with like a ton of touristy restaurants, but we walked all the way to the end of it in search of finding a place that like feels a little more local. And I think we found it. It was a little like a, a dive or a hole in the wall. It's just like a little simple grill. And so far we're the only tourist in the place. I got the Suprema sandwich because I saw a local guy order it when we first got here and it looked awesome. Basically a huge fried chicken sandwich. I don't even know if I'm going to finish it all. This is so much food. Yep. I love this place. <laughs> that was delicious. It is a good thing that we're going hiking tomorrow. And the next day. <laughs> and the next day. Also, it is 9.30 and it's still light outside, which is super weird. Super weird. We're going to stay up so late. <laughs> we typically go home when it gets dark and we're like, going to be going home really start late. working and editing vlogs when it gets dark. <laughs> but oh well. we need to go home and get bed. We have a big day tomorrow. Hiking. Kayaking. I believe at like 8 in the morning. It's gonna be awesome. the camera <laughs> didn't know you were gonna come towards me we are in Ishwaya <laughs> that's a wall <laughs> that's the second time it <laughs> just put curtains in front of it to make it look like a bigger window I just made a coffee into the uh, I think I was supposed to put it like 